So along with the launch of the Space Q45, Soundcore also launched their latest Space Series ANC in-ear earbuds, which is the Space A40. And if you haven't watched the review of the Q45 yet, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go check it out after this video. And this is Soundcore's latest product into the ANC earbuds and headphones world, and they aim to smoke their competitors in every aspect of these earbuds. So let's see if these are indeed one of the best you could buy. So these earbuds today were sent over to me by Soundcore for review and although these were sent over to me, no money has exchanged hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So the Space 40 ANC earbuds retails for a mid-range price of 99 US dollars or about 440 Malaysia Ringgit and with that price, Soundcore is staying really competitive with their competitors and I think that would really give them an edge. So if you're interested in buying these headphones, please check out my links in the description below. Similar to the Q45, the A40 that we have here is extremely well built, very typical to Soundcore's effort of premium, high quality build that doesn't hurt your wallet. And the material used with the A40 is exactly the same that is found on the Q45, which is a nice smooth plastic that has a very high end feel to it. At the top here, you're going to get that glossy Soundcore logo which looks really nice and at the back of the case is a Type-C charging port. And when you plug it in, there is a nice gloss back panel at the front here that hides the three LEDs and tell you the battery life of the case. Behind the case is also a pairing button and you need to press it for 3 seconds with the lid open and to put the earbuds into pairing mode. This earbuds doesn't start going into pairing mode when you take them out of the case and partly because these earbuds supports multi-point. The bottom of the case is nice and flat and hides wireless charger so you can pop this onto any Qi certified wireless charger and you'll charge up the case and the earbuds. So the lid opens up smooth here and uses a nice hinge to snap the lid open uh, in place and you can see that there is a bounce to the lid here where you tilt it around and inside this lid you're gonna get this rubber lining uh, to protect your earbuds from scratches and also pushes down the earbuds to ensure that it charges inside the case. Inside here you're gonna see a plastic gloss black cradle here which looks really nice but mine came with a small scratch at the side here uh, out of the box. I'm not too sure whether the camera will pick it up but yeah there's a small scratch here so this piece here is definitely very prone to scratches but at least it's in the inside. So inside you're also going to see the earbuds and taking them out you realize how small they actually are for an ANC earbuds. So I must applaud Soundcore for making it this small and these earbuds look simple with a nice Soundcore branding at the front and nice materials all around it uh, which is also different from the front here on the touch sensor as well as the gloss black at the back. So there is also no in-ear sensor found in these earbuds. Soundcore did an amazing job with the battery life here and without ANC these earbuds gives you a great 10 hour of battery life with 50 additional hours in the case and with ANC and you're gonna get about 8 hours of juice and 40 additional hours with the case this is already better than most earbuds in the market with ANC so I'm definitely impressed so do take note that these are rated at a medium volume using AAC as a codec and if you use LDAC most of the time it's going to drain the battery even faster so the earbuds also supports quick charging so 10 minutes of charge will give you 4 hours without ANC so that's definitely a very handy feature so the A40 has a very linear volume and gives you exactly the volume range you need at each percentage level. Similar to the way of the Q45 and how it works, a comfortable listening volume for me starts at around 30%. Uh, and around 50%, these earbuds already feel very loud and you can hear that there's still a lot of potential with them. Around 75%, these earbuds are very loud but still very enjoyable and anything above that is too loud for me and I usually won't hover around that volume. So if you like your earbuds loud, then these earbuds definitely is for you. So like its bigger brother, the A40 is extremely well spec and comes with a Bluetooth 5.2 with LDAC. AAC and SBC support. So these earbuds are high-res audio wireless certified so giving you a stream rate of 990 kbps at 32 bits but do take note that you need to have a player with LDAC support in order for this to work. So the earbuds also comes with an IPX4 water resistant rating so it's not waterproof but it's definitely sweat and splash proof so it still will survive the elements with no problems. The Space A40 also comes with Soundcore's 10mm double layer diaphragm driver which they are marketing together with their Space series uh, headphones and earbuds and it gives you a very tight very accurate sound signature since it has a better flex and strength to give you a better and stronger bass response so these earbuds also supports a seamless left and right playback so you can pick out either side and use them seamlessly without any connection break and finally these earbuds also comes with multi-point support which is very rare in today's market and at this price point and earbud size i definitely don't know what sorcery is soundcore doing which is amazing 
So the M with the Space 40 is also slightly different compared to the Q45, but it's largely the same with, uh, with a few differences here and there. So at the top here, you're going to get your earbuds and also the battery level of the left and right earbuds. Again, the percentage will be really helpful here. And below that, you're going to get your ambient sound control. And inside here for noise cancellation, you're going to be able to choose either an adaptive mode. So if you click into modes here, you can either have it in uh, manual mode. So you can swipe here to have strong, weak or moderate. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it as strong most of the time or if you want to go into adaptive mode it will hear your surroundings and control the ANC according to your surroundings so I usually leave it at manual mode here you can also toggle between normal mode as well as transparency mode and under transparency mode again here you're going to be able to choose whether you want it fully transparent or also vocal mode so unlike the Q45 you're not going to be able to adjust the transparency level so uh, under the vocal mode you're going to be able to hear speech better where fully transparent is like more like fully open so at the bottom here you're going to be able to remap your controls uh, where you can adjust a single tap double tap as well as hold for two seconds control uh, so what you see here uh, i've turned on my single tap so this is for my volume control my double tap is for track skipping and hold for two seconds is for my ambient sound control or the gaming mode turn on or off so that's pretty much what i like about uh, this feature setup. So you're also going to get here ID where you can map it to the frequencies of your ears and adjust them accordingly and Soundcore will intelligently adjust the EQ for your specific ears so pretty good feature here so you can just uh, click into it do some tests uh, hearing tests and it will play some frequencies and you will tell Soundcore whether you can or cannot hear it and it will customize the sound signature for you. So below that you're going to get your sound effects as well so the difference here with the Q45 is that now you're going to get the hear ID sound where in the Q45, there's no Q here ID. Uh, at the bottom here, you're also gonna get your default sound core signature, but you don't get the bass up feature on here. Uh, and you're also going to get the whole range of sound course EQ and also custom which you can also do with the 8 band EQ here. So since I've already done here ID, I'll just leave it at here ID. So if you click on the top right, you're going to be able to uh, go into more settings here. What you can do here is to toggle your touch tone or your wind noise reduction, go into gaming mode, do your fit test uh, and also update the firmware. So that's pretty much the feature you get with the sound core app. So the ANC here is one of the industry leading ANC performance and just to reiterate Soundcore did not pay me to say this so my opinion is from my own experience just like how I feel with the ANC on the Q45 which isn't as strong as I hoped this is all my own opinion. So the earbuds does exceptionally well with low humming noise and with road noise tests and the airplane cabin noise they both perform extremely well to the point when I have soft music playing and I swap between the two noise uh, tests I can't even hear it and I thought I did not play the music so when I remove the earbuds from my ears they are actually pretty loud. So this is definitely better than the Q45 thanks to the in-ear seal as well. So these earbuds could do better with the mid-range frequencies, vocals and also crowd noise because they are not as good as the Q45 and with the same volume level of music I can still hear quite a bit of noise coming through in terms of crowd chatters and human talking. So the passive noise isolation here of these earbuds is very good and gives me a very good seal and you should do a fit test using the app so you can choose which ear tips which seals better for you. Finally, wind noise here is very good and gives you very good protection from wind noise even without the wind noise reduction algorithm turned on. In the rare case you get wind buffering, you can just turn it on. So overall, I would rate the Space A40 to have a very good ANC performance of 9.5 out of 10 and it's only 0.3 points away from the very good Liberty 3 Pro. So I much prefer the sound signature of the A40 over the Q45 although the Q45 is also really good but the depth of each frequency on the A40 I personally feel it hits harder and stronger. So the bass on these earbuds is very tame and not like extremely bassy but using the Hear ID EQ it gives you a very nice thumb and you can hear them really well. So moving up the volume range to about 70% you start to feel more of the sub bass creeping in uh, but that only happens at louder volumes. Vocals here is also very good with sufficiently good sounding vocals giving both male and female artists very good vocals reproduction. You don't get that wide sound stage with these earbuds so it just feels like the artist is mostly singing in your head. So these highs here is also really good and I think these produce sufficiently bright highs so you get a nice well-rounded balanced sound signature with these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Soundcore Space A40 is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. 
So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbud. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So the latency on this earbud is very good with the gaming mode turned on and with games like PUBG you actually don't see the lag and it feels something like about 60 milliseconds or less. But this is not claimed by Soundcore and either way it performs really well with games, movies and videos. So let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is definitely a very strong offering from Soundcore and I'm really happy that they have this new space series of headphones and earbuds coming out. And so if you haven't checked out the video of these headphones, the Q45, definitely click on the link in the description below and you can see whether or not those headphones are something that you much prefer compared to the in-ear earbuds. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.